everyone, this is Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Weren't Maximo and Rosie just adorable? <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to make that bandana that they were wearing. And it's just a basic single crochet bandana with a trim. And then I'm also going to show you how to cross stitch a heart right in the center. Now this pattern is a one size pattern but it's completely adjustable and I'll show you that when we get a little bit farther on in the video. You can find the pattern and the graph for the heart on my blog and I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. So what you're going to need to make a bandana like this one is two different colors of yarn. You're going to need about an ounce and a half to two ounces or more depending on how big you make yours in a basic color. And Maximo's is gray. And I'm going to do the embroidery on heart or the cross stitched on heart like this pink one in red. And I'm choosing this darker red so that you'll be able to see what I'm doing on the bandana. You're going to need a needle for weaving in ends and sewing on your cross stitches. And we're going to be using our H hook which is a 5.00 millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a pair of scissors. And then you also, if you want to, you can go to my blog and you can copy and paste and print the graph so you can follow it or you can just follow along with me today. Both ways are totally fine. I kind of like to have the graph in front of me when I'm doing it. We're going to be starting at the bottom point of our bandana and we'll increase and work our way out. And that's how you adjust the size. You will continue to increase until it's the size that you would like it. This one measures about six inches from the top to the point and about five inches across. And so you can adjust it as big as you want or you can even not do as many rows if you want to make it smaller. Just keep in mind we need to have enough room to cross stitch our heart on in the center. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to begin with our slip knot and then we're going to chain two. And we're going to begin by placing three single crochets in the second chain from the hook. One, two. And what we'll do, we'll go right in that chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through both loops. That's one single crochet. We need to stitch two more. Now we have three single crochets. We're going to chain one and turn. And our chain one does not count as a stitch, it's just a turning chain to make our rows lay nicely. All right, so for row two, we're just going to place one single crochet in each of those three single crochets. Chain one and turn. Now for row three, we're going to increase at the beginning and the end of this row. So in our first single crochet, we're going to stitch two single crochets. One and two. We'll stitch one in that center single crochet and then we'll stitch two in the last single crochet. And by doing this, we've increased from three single crochets to five. Chain one and turn. And for row four, we're going to place one single crochet in each of those five single crochets. chain one and turn. All right, so I think you can tell by now what we're doing is we're increasing every other row. So now we're on row five and we're going to increase from five to seven. So we'll place two single crochets in the first single crochet. We'll stitch one single crochet in the next three, two, 
three, and then in the last single crochet, we'll stitch two. So now we've increased from five to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain one and turn. And now we're just going to place one single crochet in each of those seven single crochets. Chain one and turn. You can also see how it's increasing and getting larger. And this is how you decide how big you want to make your bandana. All right, so we've got two, four, six. We're on our seventh row. And on our seventh row, we're going to increase from seven to nine. So we'll place two single crochets in our first single crochet. We'll single crochet across till we reach that last single crochet. And then we'll put two single crochets in the last one. One and two. So now we have nine. Chain one and turn. And then we'll place one single crochet in each of those nine single crochets. Chain one and turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is the way that we will work up through. I'm going to check my notes here. We're going to do this up through row 14 so that we have 15 single crochets. We'll increase every other row. All right, so let's increase on this row. Two single crochets in the first, one single crochet in each stitch across, and then two single crochets in the last. So that's our increase row, chain one, and turn, and then we'll stitch one single crochet in each of those stitches. And we're going to repeat doing our rows this way, increasing every other row, up through row 14, and that's going to give us 15 single crochets on that row. And this is for the size that will fit about a 9 to 12 inch neck. So if you continue to repeat an increase row, increasing at the beginning and the end, chain one turn and then one single crochet in each single crochet across, alternating every other row, up through row 14, you'll end with 15 single crochets. And like I said, that's going to fit a dog that's about a 9 to 12 inch neck. And um, you can make it much bigger if you want, and you can not increase as many if you want it to be a little bit smaller. It's kind of up to you what size you want it to be. I'm going to continue alternating my rows up through row 14. I've stitched my 14 rows, alternating my increased rows every other row. And a way to uh, keep track of your rows when you're doing solid single crochets is you'll see the two together and then you'll see like a line that's an indention. And so you can go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And on your 14th row, you need to have 15 single crochets. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the trim on our bandana. And we're just going to stitch down the side. And what we're going to do, I've already chained one, so we're going to chain two, and then we'll go right in to the side and just stitch a slip stitch. Chain two, 
we'll go right into the side and slip a stitch a slip stitch one two and there isn't a set number that you have to have as far as the edge just however it looks neat and tidy to you I'm basically putting the I do the chain two and then I I put the slip stitch in that spot between the next two rows one two slip stitch one two slip stitch now we're at the bottom and I like to try to get one of these chain two loops right on the bottom just so it lays neat and tidy one two and we're just going to move around the other side and I do find that it's better if we don't put it in a big gaping hole we try to get it in a nice and tidy spot You just got to kind of eyeball it, see where you want to put it. If you can get it through a couple of loops on the side of the stitch. It just gives a little bit of a fun lacy edge, and I thought it was pretty for Valentine's Day. If you prefer, you can do a row of just single crochets. If you don't want this sort of lacy edge. There we go. We're almost back up to the top. And go right in and join to that stitch. All right, so that gives us just a little bit of an edge on our bandana. And this works for any size, um, you know, triangle that you're working off of for your bandana. So now we're back up. To the top of our bandana and what we're going to do is I'm going to chain just one and I'm going to go right in that first stitch and we're going to stitch a row of single crochet just across the top of our bandana one single crochet in each single crochet across the top And of course, this is no matter what size that you've made, this is the way that you'll do it. All right, now I'm in that last single crochet. And that just gives it like a finished edge on the top. All right, so now we're going to start making the ties. I'm going to chain 25 because that makes a nice tie that is not too long to get into their toenails or their teeth, but it's long enough to give you something to tie. So I'm going to chain 25. I've chained my 25 and again it's up to you how long you want to make your tie. If you're making yours bigger, you have a bigger dog, you can chain more. If you have a smaller dog, you can chain less. Alright, so we're going to begin stitching single crochets and the second chain from the hook And we'll just place a single crochet in each chain working back to our bandana. And this makes a nice sturdy tie. One single crochet in each of the chains, no matter how many chains that you made, long or short, till we reach back to the bandana. I've single crocheted in each of the chains on my tie. I'm back to the bandana. And so what we're going to do is just stitch another row of one single crochet in each of the single crochets moving back across the top of the bandana. 
So keep that in mind when you're deciding how big to make your original triangle because we do add a couple of extra rows at the top when attaching our ties. All right, so I'm back to the other side. And now we're going to make our next tie. So I'm going to chain 25 again. Make sure you t uh, chain the same amount on both sides so that your ties will be even. Then again, we'll begin single crocheting in the second chain from the hook and in each chain across back to our bandana. I've single crocheted back along the chain of my second tie and what we're going to do is we're going to turn so that it's this direction and we're just going to join right there to that single crochet with a slip stitch, cut our yarn and tie off. We'll need to take our needle and weave that in and make sure you weave in the one that's down at the point of your bandana as well. And now we're finished and ready to do the heart cross stitch portion. So here's the cross stitch or graph that we're going to use. You'll notice I don't have any numbers or anything telling you where to put it because if you make it bigger, you, your bandana bigger, you may want to move that heart up somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the first X at the center of row 7. So we have 2, 4, 6, and here's our 7th row. And then we're going to go to the center, 1, 2, 3, here's our center, and we're going to make our X on that center stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up from the bottom, and each single crochet represents one X. All right, and then we're going to cross across just that one stitch. All right. Now I've threaded on about 24 inches on my needle. That's probably more than I need, but I wanted to make sure I had enough to make the whole heart. All right, so there's our first X. All right, now we're going to make the next three on row here, and it's on row eight. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up where that X is, and we'll go across and make our first line, okay? Then we'll come back up, and I think this is the easiest way to do it, is to make the lines first. There we go. And then we'll come back up and close those X's or cross them. Now don't let your first initial loop be a little bit too loose or your X's will not look as neat and tidy. Okay. So we've got our one X and our three. So here's our one and our three. And the next row has five. So we'll do the same thing. We'll come up in that corner. And we'll go across that, cro that um, single crochet. Three, four, and then we have to do one more. All right, 
So there's five. <clears throat> and then we'll come back and cross those. So there's the third row. The next row has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so we're going to do the same thing. That one's not, I think I pulled on it too tight. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now we have to make seven. So we're going to do the same thing. There's one. two, three, four, whoops, and then one more. Are you starting to get the hang of what I'm doing? All right, let's come back and cross those across. All right, now our next row is seven also. So we'll just repeat in those same stitches just above a row. And also I'm running out of yarn, so I'm going to try to use up as much as I can, and then I'll show you how to join in another color. Or not another color, but another piece of yarn. All right, I'm gonna turn this over, and you can see back here so what we'll need to do is just weave that one in. Just cut another piece of yarn. And we'll begin the same way. We'll just thread it. And we'll just come up where we left off. That one's a little poochy. There we go. Let's see. One, two, three, four. So we'll come right up next to it. Just make sure you don't pull it through and we can weave that one in later. Alrighty. There we go. And now I'll just cross them back. Cross them back across. Make sure that one doesn't pull back through because that's where we joined our new yarn in. That needs a little bit of weaving in there. There we go. There's our last one for that row. Now, the last row we're going to do two. We're going to skip one and do two. So we're going to be over. So get my tie out of the way there. So we're going to line up with the second one. And I'm going to go ahead and close that X. When I'm only doing a couple of stitches and not going across and back, I go ahead and just close it up. That way, it just makes it neater on the back side, I think. All right, so there's the two. We're going to skip the one in the center. 
and then do the next two. All right, there's our heart. I'm gonna turn this over and you can see I have a little bit of work to do to get this all weaved in. I'm just gonna cover it up for now. But see on here, the heart might look a little bit longer because it's spread out because I have space in between. I just wanted to make sure you could see what the graph needs to look like on your heart or on your bandana. And here it is on the bandana. Isn't that adorable? Here's the pink one. So anyway, that's how you add a cross stitch heart to the bandana or anything that you want to. You can use this graph to put it on a pillow, pockets, whatever you want. You feel free to go over to my blog copy, paste, and print this graph and use it on whatever that you want. Max and Rosie approve.